Brendan, hi. Ian Stringer up in the commentary box at the King Power. We're still live. Uh, good evening. Hi, evening, Ian. Uh, thank you for taking the time to join us. Um, clearly a, a good win, a clean sheet, three goals at home. I, I wonder whether you're happy to start with how pleased you may be that you got such a positive reaction and good reaction following a successful FA Cup game. You know, there was no question of, of after the Lord Mayor's show, a difficult and tricky opponent, but the focus certainly seemed there uh, for you early in this game. Yeah, listen, in any win in the Premier League is... Um, it's always a really good win, and especially against a team that have uh, showed a lot of really good form of late, and uh, and had a good rest period coming into the game. So, uh, so yeah, it was uh, an excellent victory for us. I said to the players beforehand, this is the time of the season where just because we're now arrived in the final, doesn't mean you're going to one foot in and one foot out. So, thinking it's just about the uh, the FA Cup now. You know, we, we've got other targets, uh, and we have to have that determination and commitment. Uh, until we get to the final. And I thought the players were, were excellent in that aspect. Uh, it wasn't perfect. I was annoyed at half-time, I have to be honest. So the goals were exceptional. Uh, some of our play were very dynamic, looked fast, pressed the game well. Um, but too many loose passes, too many mistakes, um, simple mistakes, uh, where we needed to be more precise. Second half, we were able to control the game. Um, Sam changed the shape of them to block it up a little bit more so we could then conserve the ball and uh, keep the ball and, and uh, we kept the clean sheet. But, but overall, delighted with the, uh, the three points and uh, the three very good goals. Hmm, thoroughly professional performance in second half, Brendan. I'm glad you brought up half-time and your frustrations. Um, being radio commentators, we, we, we're paid to observe. We don't miss too much, some things. But I saw some Lucas A. Bottles got a good kick in from you. You didn't look a happy teddy. No, no, I wasn't. Uh, I never broke my ankle, but apart from that, <laughs> it was okay. My right foot's never been the strongest anyway. But uh, yeah, no, it's, listen, you're always looking for perfection. You can never get it, but you have to strive for it. And uh, we just made, we, we lost too many simple passes for me. So, uh, so yeah, but that's, uh, that's something we'll analyze, but you, you can't take anything away from the overall performance and result. You must be pleased with Jamie Vardy. Not that faith from anybody in this city and county would ever and will ever leave Jamie Vardy. He's, he's probably the greatest to ever pull on the blue shirt, but he hadn't scored in 11 before this. You must have been overjoyed. And even the players to, to see him hit the back of the net with, with relative ease as well. It's uh, nice to get back off the mark for your front man. Yeah, well, well, it looked relatively easy, but it's a, it's a wonderful finish. The move is excellent. Great penetration, good combination to get him behind. And then it's just inside the box. So, um, as I said, you have to be really clean in your strike. And uh, yeah, it was a wonderful goal. And then the, the third goal that we, we built up from the goalkeeper, and then he showed a great bit of skill in the final third to, to not make the defender and then lay it uh, into, uh, into Kelsey's path. So, uh, but yeah, you see the work rate, the intensity um, that he gives the team. And um, I said to you before, I, I was never worried at all when he's not scoring because he contributes so much. And even when he's not scoring, he's creating space for others, and especially for Kells. Uh, but, he, but his performance overall was outstanding, and uh, he was a real threat. What's working so well with him and Kelechi and Acho's partnership now? Well, I think it's a team. I think the team collectively it works well. Um, the one that constructs the game and the other that can, uh, can play in the space. So, uh, and then he adds... The, the guys on the side to that, they combine well and the, the two midfield players are behind it. So uh, now collectively, uh, they, they function very well. But of course, the, those two up there, they can really occupy a, a back four and a back five on their own. Um, Wesley Fofana okay, Brendan? I know he was substituted. It uh, looked like he had a, a, a little bit of a limp, but that <laughs> may have been a limp of frustration. I don't know. Is, is he okay? Yeah, yeah, he's fine. It's he, he's a young player that's uh, in the middle of Ramadan, and so he's he's obviously not eaten um, during the day. And, and I think it's absolutely remarkable. You think of his performance during the week, uh, or sorry, the weekend in an FA Cup semi final where he, he hasn't eaten all day, and then he uh, uh, he had his first taste of food and with 15 minutes to go, and then same today, the eight o'clock kickoff is. He's not eaten all day or, or drank, and uh, 
still can perform to that level. So it was just one where I thought, well, I can get him off um, and then I can get some food into him um, on the bench and, uh, yeah, just, just protect him a little bit. That's incredible devotion to his faith as well, Brendan, to do that because um, as a professional athlete, you know, that's you must admire that. Hugely. I work with lots of players that uh, similar devotion to the faith. And I think what, what it does is that for a lot of the, the guys, it gives them strength. And uh, he's found an incredible strength uh, to, to play continuously and, and to train uh, whilst, uh, as I said, in, in, in Ramadan. So, uh, so, yeah, he's a special talent and a uh, yeah, big player for us. Uh, Brendan, a word on the European Super League's collapse, uh, which took, uh, I think, 48 hours in total. You spoke so well about it and the possible ramifications the other day. It looks like it's dead in the water. Uh, something that you're pleased about, I'd imagine. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but uh, your reaction to that story. Yeah, I think it, it harmed us all, Ian, to be honest. I think everyone that's not going to happen, obviously, on the, on the Sunday, the day of our semi-final was it? it came out so uh so yeah but thankfully the the voices of uh, of the supporters in the main have been heard um like i said in this country you know it, it's about competition and, and sport is, is a competition for us football has become a, a huge industry you know so there is a business aspect to it but that can never that can never um be at the cost of supporters because they are the uh, as I said, it's their game as well as the players and, and everyone that works for football clubs. We're only custodians uh, to look after the clubs for uh, for the supporters and do our very very best. So, uh, so yeah, so happy that uh, that, that was um, that was curtailed very very quickly. And um, as I said, it uh, allows us to to push on. We continually develop the game, but uh, develop it all together. Last one from me, if you wouldn't mind, because we're not going to get to speak to you before the game against Crystal Palace on Monday. wonder whether you're happy to preview that one for us, what you expect from the game. Another home one for you as you, you enter the final few in the Premier League season, Brendan. Your, your thoughts ahead of that one? Yeah, another equally difficult game. Ian, we uh, will have to recover now. Short period of time to recover over these next few days. Uh, and then we can play in a summer performance uh, and, and be better in certain aspects than... Uh, We'll be delighted that Roy's team's always difficult to beat. Very compact, very tight players that can um, uh, players that can hurt you. So we have to be really concentrated. But, uh, but the players will, will look forward to it and, uh, and give everything in the game. Thanks, Brendan. Go and get the ankle strapped. Thanks for your time. Well done tonight. Good man. Go, I'm going to go to Duncan Wright then, please. Hi, Brendan. Um, third in the table. Uh, Sam says, uh, apart from City, you're the best side they've faced all season. How how good is it after the week we've had that you've earned that recognition? You've not been given it, you've earned it. Well, well it's obviously, yeah, it's really admirable from, from Sam on the back of uh, the, the performance. So, uh, so, yeah, I think this is a, a team that's been continually evolving, Duncan, and... Um, a team that, uh, as I said, I know we can be better. We can be, you know, more precision in certain aspects of, of our game. But uh, but I can't ask for for anything more from the players. You know, you know, we've played a lot of games this season. We've had lots of injuries, but the guys continually step up um, to perform. So it tells you everything about that, the mental toughness of this team, and and also the development of the team. So. Uh, you know, it's kind of work from Sam. We in, in spells we, we we played really really well, but of course I I'm always looking for um, um, for us to be better, and there's definitely areas that we could have been better in. But at the, uh, the sign of pressure after the last couple of results, and on the back of the knowledge of last season, the way your your players have stood up, that must be particularly pleasing. Not really? No, that, that's the past. You know, you know, people keep talking about last year. It's a long, long time. You know, we, um, you know we, we finish where we deserve to finish. And it'll be the same this year. You know, there's nothing guaranteed. There's, what, six, six games to go. We just fight in every game. See what it takes us. We want to arrive in the top four, absolutely. Like all the teams will be up there. 
Uh, if we don't, worst case scenario, we want European football because that'll be another sign of progress uh, for us. So, uh, but yeah, it's that was the past. We've developed, I, I've, I believe, uh, a lot over the, the course of the last few years. And now we've got to refocus, really concentrate, and get into our next game. Thanks, Brendan. Cheers, Duncan. Okay, Jordan Blackwell, then, please. Hi, Brendan. Hey, John. Um, can I just ask why you um, chose to start Luke Thomas today? I know we've spoken previously about your wing back situation, but obviously a, a show of faith in him to, to pick him over the likes of, of Ricardo and Mark. Yeah, just balance. I think, uh, firstly, balance in terms of his left side. He's, he's always played really well for me, Jordan. I can't think of a game, maybe one game where he was really tired in the game. I, I took him off at half time. Uh, against Arsenal but apart from that he's been outstanding since he's played from this time last year any game he's played he's been out you know been very very good great temperament for a young guy strong aggressive and been excellent I said to you before I've got to manage Ricardo Ricardo cannot play uh, games at this stage where he's just back from a long term injury and uh he just he can't do that. We've seen it before. You know he's going to pick up other knocks along the way. Haven't been out for so long, so I think it's great that he's he's back for this season. He's going to be available for some of the games, and uh, and like I say, if he doesn't play, I know I've got other players that can come in and, uh, and perform very very well.